In this video, we're making a Thanksgiving-themed cocktail, Apple Pie Punch. This is a Teakwood Tavern original. However, it's a play on the classic tiki drink, Planter's Punch. However, we bring in some Thanksgiving flavors with apple spice, because let's be honest, it's better than pumpkin spice. True. We are Teakwood Tavern Hospitality, educating minds and palates on wine, spirits, and food. Apple Pie Punch is a play on a classic Caribbean cocktail known as Planter's Punch. And Planter's Punch has been recorded as early as 1694, and the name comes from the plantations that were found around the Caribbean. And everyone seemed to have their own recipe. However, they all followed the same fun template that rhymes. One of sour, two of sweet, three of strong, and four of weak. And then often they added a little spice to make it all nice, which is where the allspice dram or angostura would often come into play and make it all very nice indeed. As the name suggests, apple pie punch has apple pie flavors. And to get all that wonderful holiday spice, we're going to use some allspice dram, which is not only made from allspice berries, but also brings in the flavors of cinnamon and cloves, nutmeg, which actually goes very well because there are baking, baking spices in Angostura bitters. So these two just, mm, so much delicious spice there. To complement all of that spice and to, of course, keep up with the name Apple, uh, we decided to use an apple brandy out of the United States, which is Laird's Apple Jack. Now, Laird's is the oldest family-run distillery in America, and their signature apple brandy product is Apple Jack. It is a delicious, delicious brandy, wonderful for this style of drink. For this apple pie punch, we're gonna be using a Demerara syrup. And we've already talked about, you know, the spices that are coming from the St. Elizabeth Allspice Dram and Angostura, and then the apple flavors coming from the uh, Laird's Applejack. So of course, we need to have some brown sugar. And for us, we decided to use Demerara sugar. Now, Demerara is an unrefined, high quality brown sugar and it just works really well to bring all those flavors together and make this drink really reminiscent of an apple pie. So let's begin with making the Demerara syrup. Whenever we're making a syrup, we always recommend weighing out your ingredients and that's why we use our trusty scale. This is an equal parts syrup. So we have equal parts of the Demerara sugar to water. Now we are not making this over a stove. There's plenty of recipes out there for simple syrup that talk about, you know, get water boiling and add your sugar and stir. However, we find that those result in a lesser simple syrup because they end up losing some evaporation, which means that you're really not getting the proportions that you wanted. For that reason, we don't cook it over a stove. Instead, we use an immersion blender. This will allow us to use warm or room temperature water and still blend all the sugar together. And that's what we're about to do. So let's begin. We have our clean jar. We have our Demerara sugar. I'm gonna try to pour this very carefully and not spill it all over the place. That may or may not have happened in an earlier version of this video. All right, so we have 100 grams of sugar. Now we have 100 grams of water. Pour that in there. Now the fun part, immersion blender. Get that in there. Probably not gonna hear me, so. is a larger crystal than your normal kind of like, you know, white traditional sugar. So it will take a few more seconds to blend this all together. 
but a good immersion blender will work through this in no time, and then you'll have a lovely equal parts never a circle. And if you heard nothing that I said, it wasn't important. But that, my friends, is how you make an equal parts demerara syrup to use in our apple pie bunch. Right, let's make some apple pie punch. For this recipe, you're gonna need three ounces of apple brandy, three quarters ounce of demerara syrup, one quarter ounce of allspice dram, three quarter ounce of lemon, and two dashes of Angostura bitters. We're gonna do this in a shaking tin because there is both our sugar syrup here as well as our citrus. I want to make sure that it's nicely emulsified together. Don't forget a couple dashes of bitters. And then we are going to pass in here. Versus our glasses is so big, so don't want to overfill that. And then we got a couple fun garnishes as well. I have a dehydrated apple slice <laughs> and an apple or a cinnamon stick. that can also be served as your dessert. If you want to learn more about other Thanksgiving cocktails and wine pairings, you should check out our website, teakwoodtavern.com. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe here. And if you'd like to see another video just like this, click here.